For practice it, self-check 3.5, we're asked what is the output produced by the following program. When we look in here, we have a class, we have a main method, and then we have another method that gets called in our main method. So when we do this, we can start by looking at what's in our main method. In this line, we have our int numbers equal to 8. And that doesn't do anything for this next line, which is half the fun 11. So we have our method, which is half the fun, and we are passing in 11 right here. So now we can look at our method and see what we need to do. Well, we have number is equal to number divided by 2, so we are going to get 5. We can say that n is equal to 5, and then we can start looking at our for loop. We have this is going to run until um, count is equal to 5, so it's going to run 5 times. And we're just printing out count and then a space, all on the same line, and then when this loop breaks, we print out a new line. So what we're returning here, or what we're printing out here, is 1, a space, a 2, a space, a 3, a space, 4, space, and then lastly a 5 and then we will be going on to a new line. That's the end of our method. So we can now go into this next method pass. We have 2 minus 3 which is negative 1 plus 16 so we have 15 here. So we're passing in n is equal to 15. Well that means that we're just going to be passing in 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way to 15 in this next line. Next, we have half the fun number right here. And what this is doing is it is taking this number right here, this 8, that we um, declared and initialized. So we're passing in n is equal to 8. And then we are going to print out this and in fact actually I made a mistake on the half the fun right here for the um, second line this line I made a mistake right here um, it should actually not be 1 to 15 I forgot to half it right here so being cut in half um, from 15 we have to divide this by 2 this is going to give us 7 so instead of running to 15 right here this is going to run from 1 to 7 and with n equaling 8 n is going to get divided by 2 and which is going to give us 4 so this is going to run from 1 to 4 like this and lastly we have this line this system dot out dot print line right here which we need to look at and all we're printing out is number and then we're going to have our equal sign and then a space and then we are just going to have the number which we stored right here and that is 8. So our output is going to look like this. So if we go back into practice it, our output is going to look like this. And then we have our string equals 8. So this is how you would input it into practice it. And if we click submit, we can see that we've passed the test. And that is the output for the following code.